hello and welcome again to my channel study bars in this video i will be discussing some important works of uh, a very popular uh, contemporary writer indira goswami so indira goswami is well known by her pen name mamuni rasam goswami and uh, popularly known as mamuni baido she was an indian writer poet professor scholar and editor she once said that uh, she regarded her writing as an act of worship she was a uh, one of the most celebrated uh, celebrated writers of contemporary indian literature many of her works have been translated into english from her native language assamese Indira Goswami was born on 14th November 1942 in Assam to an affluent Vaishnavite Brahmin family who owned a monastery. She completed her masters in Assamese literature from Guwahati University in 1963. She completed her doctorate in 1973 and uh, her first uh, collection of short stories was published in 1962. She was a prolific writer of novels, short stories, poetry, non-fiction and uh, uh, also a professor in Delhi University. She suffered from depression since her childhood. Her first marriage in 1965 ended the same year and her second husband uh died in a car accident just 18 months after they had married in 1966 these incidents broke her mentally and made a mark on her already fragile state she wrote in her autobiography about her suicidal thoughts it was her craft that saved her she wrote that writing was never my career it was my passion i wrote to enjoy my life without writing i would have been a dead person indira goswami has been the recipient of uh, of a number of awards including the sahitya academy award in 1983 the uh, janan peet award in uh, 2001 and the padma shri which she refused to accept the assam ratna the katha national award the prince claus award from the netherlands and a number of honorary uh, doctorates she was also well known for her attempts to structure social change both through her writing and through her role as a mediator between the armed militant group united liberation front of assam and the government of india her involvement led to the formation of the people's consultative group a peace committee so she played a very important role in a peace uh, deal uh, between the government of india and the united liberation front of assam Uh, the pioneer of uh, feminist assamese literature indira goswami despite her own relative privilege felt deeply the impact of patriarchy and socio economic uh, operation on less privileged communities and wrote extensively about them she is very famous for her writing uh, writing about the uh, about women and the downtrodden section of society and the uh, and the weaker section uh, about their poverty about their struggle uh, in this video i will discuss some of her most appreciated works 
first one is the moth eaten hoarder of a tusker the story is set between the early 19th century and india's independence the novel depicts the atrocities inflicted on women notably hindu widows uh, by feudal monarchs in monasteries the novel revolves around the lives of three female characters durga saru and uh, giribala who were forced to eat uh, to live and to interact as per the deeply patriarchal no- norms of the ashram uh, goswami's own childhood experiences and her uh, time in vrindavan she she spent uh, in researching the lives of vedos Uh, from the backdrop of this classic as she writes the emotional physical and social deprivation of women victimized by the typical feudal uh, vaishnavite satra system so this novel um, mainly focuses on uh, women uh, the widow women and how they were oppressed by the vaishnavite satra system this book was adopted to a a national award fin- uh, winning film adajia in 1996 the second one is aadha likha dastabej uh, that is an unfinished uh, document Uh, this is her autobiography it deals with her experience of uh, chronic depression from the time she was very young as a child goswami was obsessed with suicidal thoughts and in this book she writes about her desire to jump off the cliff of uh, Uh, crinoline falls in shillong after the death of her husband and father she had a major mental bra- uh, breakdown and tried to commit suicide by gulping uh, uh, sleeping pills the autobiography also contains the story of her aunt who was widowed at an early age and was forced into a life of misery by the social conventions of an orthodox hindu society the third work is uh the man from chinnamasta this is one of indra goswami's most controversial novels it deals with her experiences of witnessing animal sacrifice at kamakhya mandir uh, assam uh, when she was a child her description of the traditional ritual provides the reader with a vivid imagery of blood stains on the temple door after the sacrifice and the temple bells ringing and the body of the helpless animal lying on the altar she had uh, had to face uh, uh, she had to face uh, black lash uh, for this work Uh, as angry priest and religious organizations threatened her for portraying the ritual as sadistic however this novel is considered one of uh, her um, one of her uh, masterpieces and went on to be a great success the next one is jatra uh, and the english translation is the journey Uh, this is assam's peace process uh, uh, today uh, is a result uh, uh, is a result of what indra goswami started uh, and this statement was given by uh, former chief minister tarun gogoi when uh, when offering his respect to the writers uh, to the writers uh, death anniversary so this book about the militancy and insurgency that the state of assam witnessed for a long time in an important uh, it is an important piece of writing in the history of the assam peace process 
Goswami not only wrote about the state's three decade long insurgency but acted as a mediator between the United Liberation Front of Assam and the state of uh, the state government to broke peace in Assam um, due to her efforts the rebel group agreed to come to a negotiation with the assam government and and goswami was aw- awarded the state's highest civilian award that is assam ratna for her outstanding contribution in the field of art literature culture and social service the next one is uh, the blue necked god the this work is published in uh, uh, in 1976 uh, this uh, fusion this is a fusion of reality and fiction and narrates the story of a widow uh, saudamini suffering from physical mental and financial financial deprivation uh, uh, this work also uh, uh, shows goswami's own experiences as a widow in vrindavan um, uh, when uh, when she uh, when she was in vrindavan and and uh, she uh, she has done her research on the widows in uh, in vrindavan uh, she weaves the story into a bold narrative against uh, hard traditions and socio religious sanctions of the ill treatment of women the next one is uh, the page the pages stained with blood initially published in assamese in the literary journal uh the novel created controversies over the love story of a delhi university professor and a rickshaw puller as in all her writings in this novel uh, also goswami uses her surroundings as uh, the stage she depicts the suffering of the people during the 1984 anti sikh riots and the consequent uh, um, uh, assassination uh, of the then prime minister indira gandhi the book explores the mental and emotional crisis of the university professor during operation blue star in amritsar's golden uh, temple so these are uh, some of her best known works she wrote ext- extensively about uh, women she wrote many novels uh, and many short stories these are some of her works uh, that i talked about so this is it about uh, this is it uh, for the video uh, if you like the video subscribe my channel thanks for watching